deliver all heart, all souls in the name of Jesus. Today, in this place, only the plans and purposes of Jehovah, the living God, shall be made manifest. Only the desires of Jehovah shall be made manifest in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are here this day, the fourth day of June 2022, by divine instruction and the divine order of Jehovah, the living God. We decree and we declare over all the continents of the world that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. We decree and we declare that Jehovah, the living God, is sovereign in the heavens and on the earth in the name of Jesus. Today, together with the saints of God, the apostles of the Most High, we visit the palaces of the kings, the high places of the earth. Together with the saints of God, soaked and saturated in the blood of the unblemished lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ. All over this place, we speak cleansing by the blood of Jesus. We speak consecration by the blood of Jesus. We speak redemption by the blood of Jesus. We speak purification by the blood of Jesus. All over this, in all over this work, we decree that the blood of Jesus flows, saturates everything that is done here today. Whatsoever is done here today is done after the pattern of Jehovah the living God. Today we visit the palaces of the kings the high places of the earth, the presidential offices and the presidential lodges. We visit the temples, the shrines, the synagogues. We visit the mosques, the churches. We visit the courts of law, the houses of assembly, the houses of commons, the parliaments, the senates, the places where decisions are being made for individuals, for homes, for families, for communities, for cities, for nations and for continents. In this place, together with the saints of God, we visit the mountains, the valleys, the rivers, the seas, the depths of the oceans. We visit the heights and the depths. We visit the winds of the earth and the sands of the desert in the name of Jesus. We visit the trading floors in the spirit realm. And we come on the trading tables and we overturn every counsel of evil, every structure of darkness, every strategy of perversion, every plan, every machination, every orchestration that is contrary to the will of Jesus over the nations, over the continents of the realms of man. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we tear off and we rip apart the structures and the hold of sin, the hold of Satan and self over the realms of man. We unshackle the souls of men. We unlock the minds of men, the minds of women, the minds of youths, the minds of children across the nations of the earth. We unlock the territories of the earth in the name of Jesus the Christ. We soak the entirety of the nations. We soak the continents in Jesus the Christ, in the redemptive and cleansing blood of Jesus Christ, and in the unfailing pure love of Jehovah over the living God. We decree here today that in Africa, in Antarctica, in Asia, in Australia, Oceania, in Europe, in North America, in South America, let there be light in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare in Africa, in Antarctica, in Asia, in Australia, Oceania, in Europe, in North America, in South America, let there be light in the name of Jesus. We decree in Africa, in Antarctica, in Asia, in Australia, Oceania, Europe, North America, South America, let there be light in the name of Jesus. 
We break the strongholds of darkness over the continents, all over the nations of the world, over the souls of men, over structures, over systems, over institutions. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, take over. Take over Africa. Take over Antarctica. Take over Asia. Take over. Take over Australia, Oceania, Europa. Take over North America, South America. In the name of Jesus, we take the continents and the nations, the souls of men, the structures of government. We take the systems. We take the institutions. For Jesus the Christ, we step into these lands as apostles of Jesus the Christ, and we take over by the pattern of the living God, by the image and the likeness of Jehovah. We take over by the nature and the character of the living God. We take over by the plans and purposes of the living God. In the name of Jesus, this morning, as saints of God, we represent Christ, the living God. We represent the body of Christ. And today, in this place, on the 4th of June, 2022, we enter the land in the name of Jehovah, our King, and we take over. We fasten the righteousness of Jesus the Christ over the continents and over the nations. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah the living God, take over. Have your way. Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do in this place. Do what only you can do in, 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 in the nations of the earth. Let your name be magnified. Let your name be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Is Melody there? Melody, if you're there, please blow the shofar. If Melody is not there, then let the next person take over. I don't see Melody. Shofar, play the shofar blowing. Over to, over to. Okay, go right ahead. Just um, half a minute. Okay. Oh, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. 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 Father, we give you praise. We thank you, Jehovah God. We give you glory this morning. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the life of Dr. Kemi, your daughter. Lord, we give you glory as we join heaven to celebrate you, Lord God, in her life. We thank you, Lord, as we join her to celebrate you in her today, the 4th of June, 2022, in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, today, as we do this, we join her to claim all the nations of the world for Jesus Christ. Therefore, I stand with my brothers and my sisters today to claim Africa and all that is the reign for Jesus Christ. For it is written in Jeremiah 1 10, see, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. In the name of Jesus, I stand and we stand as the authority in the heavens and we declare that all the gates of Africa and yet all the gates of the 50, 54 nations of Africa be lifted up now and the King of glory, even Jesus Christ, comes in and takes over in the name of Jesus. 
we decree and declare the lordship and the sovereignty of Jehovah God over Africa. We decree and declare that Africa, even the 54 nations of Africa, are for Jesus Christ from today. From today, therefore, we command in the name of Jesus that any and all contrary occupation before now be rooted out uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, with the throne, uh, every power, every principality, every authority that has sat over Africa till now. Today we dethrone them uh, and we enter Jesus uh, as King and Lord uh, over Africa. Every structure in all realms, uh, spiritual and physical, that has mitigated uh, and is mitigating uh, against the Lordship, uh, against the power of Jesus Christ in Africa. Today, this morning, right now, they are pulled down and totally destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every plan, every purpose, every intent set up that is contrary to that of Jehovah Jesus for Africa. Let them be completely destroyed now. Let them be completely obliterated now and forever in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask for divine visitation for Africa, over Africa, in Africa from Jehovah God in the name of Jesus. Father, take over Africa. Jesus, take over Africa. Holy Spirit, take over Africa until every home and every individual declares Jesus as Lord. We unlock the gates of Africa for Jesus. We unlock every soul that has been tied by the enemy. We unlock their lives for Jesus this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be divine visitations in all Africa. Visit every unsaved African soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit them in their dreams, while they walk, while they eat, wherever they may be found, in whatever they are doing. Let Jesus visit them. Let them see Jesus. Let them drink Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the atmosphere over Africa, the air, the land, the sea, and under be filled with the presence of Jesus and the knowledge of God. Let everything, living and known, begin to reflect Jesus to every single soul that is under the atmosphere of Africa, to every African, wherever they may be found, wherever they are called, as long as they are Africans, let Jesus, everything around them, begin to declare Jesus to them in the name of Jesus Christ until the entire Africa and all Africans are totally saturated and taken over by the spirit of Jesus Christ today. We cancel every and any agreement to sell or hand over Africa to any power, to any religion, to any force, to any principality, to any demonic presence. We declare that agreement, that part, we declare it cancelled. We declare it null and void in the name of Jesus. We take back all African territories that have been hidden to soda and we dedicate them to the Lord Jesus. Therefore, we soak Africa, even the 54 nations of Africa or Nigeria, Angola, Bene, Botswana, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Cameroon, Cape Verde, Central African Republic, Chad, Comoros, Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Cote d'Ivoire, Njibouti, Egypt, Equatorial Guinea, Eritrea, Gabon, the Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Kenya, Lesotho, Liberia, Libya, Madagascar, Malawi, Mali, Mauritania, Mauritius, Morocco, Mozambique, Namibia, Niger, Niger, Nigeria, Rwanda, Sao Tome and Principe, Senegal, Seychelles, Sierra Leone, Somalia, South Africa, Sudan the North, South Sudan Republic, Swaziland, Tanzania, Togo, Tunisia, Uganda, Zambia, Zimbabwe. We soak everyone and each one in the blood of Jesus. We mark them with the blood of Jesus. We declare them for Jesus. We command their gates to be lifted up today for Jesus Christ, the King that comes in and takes over. In the name of Jesus, every single soul is brought under the authority of Jesus. And from today, Jesus reigns, rules over Africa. Jesus reigns, rules over every home. Jesus reigns, rules over every soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, King of glory, we give you all the praise and all the adoration, O oh Lord. 
we stand on the authority of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we bring down every stronghold, everything that exalts itself against uh, the, the, the knowledge of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, concerning Asia, oh Father, everything, the, everything concerning Asia that is coming against the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, the King of glory, oh Lord, we bring down every stronghold, both in the air, on the earth, in the atmosphere, in the sea, in the waters, oh Father, we decree a thing and it will be established today, oh Father, as a royal priesthood, as a priesthood anointing on this platform, O oh Lord, a peculiar people and a holy nation. Father, we decree nations for Jesus. Hallelujah. The nation of Asia. Hallelujah. The nation of Asia, O oh Father. The nation of Afghanistan. The nation of Pakistan, Father. We claim it for you, Master Jesus, O oh Father. As a point of contact, we claim Pakistan. For, for Jesus, we claim India for, for Jesus, we claim Afghanistan for Jesus, we claim Saudi Arabia, we enter into the court of the, the, the palace in Saudi Arabia, oh Lord, Father, we decree and declare today, Father, Mama Suku King of Glory, enter into the court and the way and the highway, Father, of palaces and governing bodies, oh Father, we enter and Hallelujah. Can I share my screen? Try sharing, but I don't think uh, I can do that. If you give me co-host, I can share. I just want to share because Antarctica is so different from any other continent. And uh, I just want us to see what, where we are praying for. Amen. No? Okay. Amen. If I can't. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. I was wanting to share my screen because I wanted to show what Antarctica looks like. Amen. Um, but if I can't, I will uh, still, you know, <laughs> I will still just pray. Hallelujah. Antarctica, Father, we just want to thank you for the continent of Antarctica because it is so different 
from any other continent. And Father, I just want to thank you for, I just want to magnify God. You know, I, I looked at Antarctica. I started looking at Antarctica last night. And I, I just want to magnify the Lord God because he is awesome. This is a continent with no people. Ah, Father, we give glory to your name. Father, you show us how big you are, how good, how, how you can do and undo, how, how majestic you are. Father, this is a continent that has no people. 98% of it is ice. And yet this is the Lord. <laughs> you know, this is what the Lord says. Your Redeemer who formed you in the womb. I am the Lord who has made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens and who spread out the earth by himself. So Father, I just want to thank you for Antarctica that you created at the bottom of the earth. And yet you put no people, hallelujah. And yet, Lord God, at this point in time, there are people on it. People that are scientists looking to find out about what God has done. Father, we want to pray for those people, these scientists, oh God. In the process of them searching and doing adventures and seeking to know more about your creation. Lord, let them come to know the creator. This is a continent of not more than a thousand people in winter, 5,000 in the summer. <laughs> Lord God, I ask that every person that is there, you will handpick each time, oh God. And Lord, that you will call them to have a revelation of who you are. As they seek adventure, let them find you, O oh God. As they dig deep down into the ice, they go there. Almost, you know, many have died because they have gone to seek and find out more about this continent. Lord, as they go, let them find you, O oh God. Lord, this morning, I want to plead the blood of Jesus over Antarctica. We want to declare and decree that anyone from henceforth who steps, who, who steps their foot on this continent will meet with Jesus. Lord, I want to invite you into Antarctica. That Lord, even though there are no churches, Father, we ask, Lord, that you begin to establish, that you begin to send missionaries there that will meet with these scientists, oh God. That, Lord, as people go, the scientists, they want to find out more. Lord, missionaries too, you raise up missionaries, oh God. Ha! Lord, you, you set the earth on its foundation and it can never be moved. I just praise you for this bottom part. This bottom part of the whole earth. Ho, oh, Rabba Sokotohe. You said, can we join you in spreading out the skies? Hard as a mirror of cast bronze. And then, Lord God, you said to Job, have you visited the storehouses of the snow or seen the storehouses of the hail? Lord, I look at Antarctica and I say, Lord, is this your storehouse of snow? Father, I just want to praise you for doing something so different, even on this earth. You can, it is a place of beauty. No one can go there and not give glory to your name. Father, as people visit, as people go, continue to look to explore, look for adventure. I'm just asking, O oh, King of Glory, meet with them, O oh God. Meet with people, O oh God. Let this place from this day henceforth, let Antarctica be a magnet of people that want to know God. 
Lord, I speak to the soil of Antarctica. I say, receive Jesus. Amen. Receive Jesus. I speak to you, Amen. the soil of Antarctica. I speak to you, the deep soil houses Amen. of Antarctica, the deep snow houses. I say, receive Jesus. In that Jesus those who name. put their feet on it, on this soil, I don't even know, it cannot be called snow, soil, it is ice. Those who step on this icy regions, let them receive Jesus. Let Amen. Jesus. Let them. Heavenly Father, we worship you. We give you glory, Lord. We stand upon your word in Psalm 2, verse 8 to 9, to make these declarations. For you have said, ask, and I will give you the nations as your inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth as your possession. We stand upon this word to make this declaration, this fourth day of June 2022 for this matter is by the decree of the watchers lord i lift up my voice together in agreement with all my brethren here as a trumpeter over the continents of australia and oceania i declare in the name of the lord jesus the preeminence and the sovereignty of the lord jesus christ as king and lord and master the adonai over Australia and Oceania. I declare in the name of Jesus that Yeshua HaMashiach reigns. Reigns the King, Kadosh Kadosh. He reigns on high. We, in the name of Jesus, I come in unity with my brethren to unlock the territories that consist of Australia and Oceania. In the name of Jesus, I declare this of this territory is unlocked for the Lordship of Jesus. I declare this territory is unlocked for the light of the Lord to shine. In the name of Jesus, I bind the plans and the blueprints of the devil over this region. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare the works of darkness over Australia and Oceania is destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I resist every territorial stronghold. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I I declare the superior authority of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, over this region, uh, Australia, Oceania. I soak you with the blood of the Lord Jesus, the blood of the unblemished lamp of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the word of God declares, it's not the word of God like fire and like a hammer that breaks in pieces or rock. Let the fire of the Lord consume every one of his territories. Let the fire of the Lord fall. Let the word of God break in pieces every hindrance, every limitation to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, that the works of darkness over this region is destroyed. Uh, I resist uh, every soul that might be seeking to, 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 to hinder everyone that has stood uh, as a principality and authority over this region. I bind you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let every yoke be broken. Let every portal be open. Let the angels of God go forth unhindered. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let the atmosphere of Australia and Oceania be filled with the glory of the Lord. Uh, I alter and recalibrate the spiritual atmosphere. I declare it suitable for the Lordship of Jesus Christ. The evil works of the devil is destroyed. Let, let your light shine. Let your light shine. The word of God prevails. The purpose of God prevails. In the name of Jesus, I possess the gates of Oceania and Australia. We take it over for the territory of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly God. This is a new season. Hallelujah. For unrighteousness gives way to righteousness. Your light has come, Australia. Your light has come, Oceania. Jesus rules and reigns in Jesus. Jesus' name, amen. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Our Lord, we just come before you. You this day we bring Europe before you. We bring Western Europe, we bring Northern Europe, we bring Eastern Europe, we bring Southern Europe. In the name of Jesus, and I declare, and I declare the word of God. 
God. And I say, lift up your head, O ye gate. Lift up your head, O ye gate of all the nations in Europe. Lift up your head, O ye gate, and let the King of glory come in. The King of glory, the Lord God Almighty coming into every nation in Europe, coming into Italy, coming into France, coming into to, 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 to Estonia, to Finland, to Czech Republic, to Denmark, to Croatia, to Republic of Cyro, Cyprus, to Austria, to Belgium, to Bulgaria, Labrus, to the Netherlands, to Poland, Come in, come in, the King of Glory. Have your way. Enter in, O Lord God. Iraba shanda, de de bo shanda. E de bo shanda, de 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 bo shanda. I lifted, be the that lifted up. For the king of glory will enter. Even a bashinda baba. It will bring salvation, 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 salvation to every nation, to every nation in Europe in the name of Jesus. According to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34, righteousness exalts a nation. For sin is a reproach to any people. Therefore, I decree and I declare that God's righteousness will exalt Europe, will exalt Europe from Brussels to Poland to at the smallest to the largest, even to Russia to Ukraine. In the name of Jesus, let your righteousness exalt. Let it exalt these nations. According to Revelation chapter eleven, verse fifteen, and the seven angels sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our lord and of his christ and it shall reign forever and ever therefore i stand even as a voice of god this morning and i declare and i decree that the kingdom of europe the kingdom of european nations Every nation in Europe has become the kingdom of our God in the name of Jesus. I even bring all the religion, religious leaders, even in Europe before the Lord this morning. I pray and I declare and I decree that they will encounter Jesus. They will encounter Yeshua just like Paul encountered, just like you encountered Paul and Paul encountered you even on the way to Damascus. He was a religious leader. But God, you know, you have a plan for him. I bring, O oh Lord God, all the religious leaders, uh, uh, religious leaders in Europe, I bring them before you, that they will encounter you, reveal yourself to them, O oh Lord God, reveal yourself to the, to, 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 um, to the Pope uh, and the, the Francis and all the cardinals, the archbishop, the bishop, the priest, the, all the Roman Catholic Church and all the religious structures. Uh, we break them down right now in the name of Jesus and we bring the order of Jesus Christ uh, over every, over over every religion, religion, the churches, even in Europe right now, in the name of Jesus, that they will know you, they will know you, they will know you, every spirit of Pharisees and Sadducees, we pull down this day in the name of Jesus, and we declare and declare that Jesus Christ, you are Lord of their life, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will reveal yourself to them, La Brosha, that the power of the gospel of your word, that the light of God will shine forth, even in their lives, in Jesus' mighty name, Labra, let them be open to the visitation of the Holy Spirit from henceforth, according to your word in Joel chapter 228, in the name of Jesus. I declare and I declare cleansing, 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 cleansing over Europe, every altar, every altar of wickedness, every altar, every altar that brings darkness, darkness into those nations. I bring cleansing of God, I bring purification, I bring sanctification in the name of Jesus, Lebrajan de Lebro Shandele Bruchanda, Ele Kutokotoko to Lubushanda, Ele Brasinda La Bruchanda. I declare and I decree, even from above, I declare and decree that heaven shall rain down, rain down, rain down, rain down from above, that the skies fall down righteousness over Europe. I declare and I declare that the earth opens and bring forth salvation over Europe. I declare and I declare that the righteousness springs forth together over the continent of Europe today. In the name of Jesus, and I bring Ukraine, and I bring Russia. You are God that make all what sees. Our Father, we pray for 
pray that you will, you, 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 you will intervene even in the eyes of men. It looks like this is going to be for a long haul. Uh, but God, uh, you can make all what sees. Uh, I pray, Lord God, that you will send forth Amen. and get your angels over the nation right now and Amen. bring peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Pastor Fuller, let me not please over to you. Yeah. Good morning. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord Almighty. We thank the Lord on this fourth day of June 2022. We thank the Lord for he is God Almighty. He is God over every nation. And this morning I come in agreement with my brothers and sisters and we declare the Lordship over the nation of North America. We stand in authority and in agreement with heaven. We say that the blood of Jesus, we speak over this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that North America, we seek the Lord Almighty in the name of Jesus. And they we declare that the Lord Jesus is Lord over the nation of uh, North America in the name of Jesus. That the blood that speaks better than that the blood of Abel, we speak over every of the members of that nation. We say that that nation will surrender to the Lordship of the Almighty God. They will declare that Jesus is Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. We stand in authority and in agreement because the word of God says whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven and whatever we lose on earth is losing in heaven. So we declare over the North America, we stand and we say they are loose from every stronghold of the wicked one in the mighty name of Jesus. Every agenda of the wicked one is loose in the name of Jesus. We declare that the word of God will permeate the atmosphere of North America we stand in authority and in agreement. We say, Holy Spirit, breathe on the whole of the north of America. In the name of Jesus, we say, Lord, send laborers into the vineyard, O God, in North America. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. May there be a great revival that break forth, O God, in the name of Jesus. In North America, may there be a great revival breaking forth in this time and in this season. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we pray that there will be harvest of souls, harvest of souls in that nation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Send laborers, O God, into every nook and corner of the North America. Lord, I pray, reach the unreach, O God. Touch those who have not been touched, Almighty Father. We pray concerning these nations, O God. Those who are being persecuted in that nation, Lord, we say, Lord Jehovah, send help to them, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your light, O God, saturate the atmosphere, Almighty God. We ask, O God, that the nation will hunger and test after you. As the deer pant for water, let their soul begin to hunger and test after you. We pray over the leadership, oh God, of, of the North America, Lord Jehovah. We declare that the wisdom of God will rest upon them. We declare that they will know you as God. We declare that they will fear you. They will walk with you. They will be guided by you in every decision making, in every law, every decree. We stand in authority and in agreement with heaven. We say every nation, every department, whether it be the judiciary, the government, the school, everywhere that they will stand and decree only that which you are saying in the mighty name of Jesus. Only the counsel of the Lord shall stand in, in the nation of North America in the mighty name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord Jesus, because we know you said we should ask of this nation, oh God, and we know it's given to us. We know that Lord Almighty, your name will be exalted in this nation. Thank you, your Heavenly Father. We give you praise and we give you all the glory that the blood of Jesus Christ will continue to speak on behalf of North America. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Glory to God. We bless your name, Lord. We give you praise. We give you thanks. You are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. You are the great, great and mighty God. Uh, as we come before you today, God, concerning South America, we declare your lordship in that in the in those countries, Lord. We declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. We declare that you are the Almighty God. There's no greater force, no greater power than you. 
And Lord, as we, as we walk into the lands of South America, we declare that every gate be lifted up. We command the gates to lift up your head. That the king of glory will come in. We break every stronghold in those nations, especially the strongholds of religion, God. We break that in the name of Jesus. We, we remove every dark spot, Lord. In South America, there's a lot of drug lords and all kinds of things, God, because they are looking for you. Father, reveal yourself. Uh, reveal yourself, God Almighty, to them. In the name of Jesus. Father, we soak those nations, the 12 nations, with the blood of Jesus. We soak them with the blood. Father, your blood must prevail over these nations. We declare that your blood has prevailed in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that every soul, every person in those nations must bow to the Lordship of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. And Jesus doesn't bow just as you wrote on the wall for the for Nebuchadnezzar, I declare that there will be writing will be on the wall for those nations that the kings and the people will look up and see the writing of, of the hands of God upon those nations. Father God, we declare that as they sleep, as they walk, as they awake, they will hear Jesus, God. Lord, let Jesus arise in those in those nations. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered in those nations. But I declare that Jesus will become the national anthem and the emblem, the flags of those nations will change to declare the Lordship of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare revival will come from the, from the north to the, to the south, from the east to the west. Revival will come upon those nations, God. Father, God, we bless you for that. Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana, Aragua, Peru, um, Suriname, Suriname, rather, Suriname, my God and my Father, Venezuela, and Uruguay. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare that Jesus Christ is the Lord over those nations, and we declare that every soul will be saved in those nations. Father, we declare that you, we will replace the words that they speak with the name of Jesus, that they will see Jesus in the church, whatever they, wherever they are worshiping, they will see Jesus. When they go to the witch doctor, they will see Jesus. Lord, just as you appeared to Paul, and he never looked back, I pray there will be a manifestation of the Lordship of Christ in those nations. That God, you will arise over those nations. Lord, let me eradicate darkness with the light of God. We command every ruling spirit to bow to the name of Jesus. We command every, every, every um, falsehood to become the truth of Jesus. Father, let the heart of the people seek the Lord while you may be found. Let them call upon you while you are near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous man is told. Father, go in, heal the land, saturate it with your goodness, fill it with your glory. Let your power be known in those places, God. Father God, we bless you and we thank you that you love South America. We thank you for your glory in that place. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. We bless your holy name. Amen. Over to you, ma. He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Hey, uh, Every kneel shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, yes, Jehovah is Lord over our lives. Jehovah is Lord over the life of Pastor Kemi. Father, we thank you. Jehovah is Lord over the life of your husband and your marriage and your children and even every single one of us present here this morning. Father, we say glory be to your name in the highest for this day, 4th of June. 
We give you all the honor as we come to make declarations over our homes, Lord, and over the life of um, Dr. Kemi and Pastor Your Head this morning. Father, we give you all the glory. This is the voice of the living God this morning saying to every one of us that we should not be dismayed. <laughs> the voice of God is saying we should not be weary of anything. The voice of the Lord is saying this morning, keep walking in my righteousness, my beloved people. Keep doing the will of the Father, for I'm the Lord over you. I am your Jehovah, says the Lord of hosts. For it is written, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. The word of God is saying to each and every one of us this morning, look up to me, says the Lord of hosts, to receive the wisdom and resources oh, we need in our homes to keep shaping each other's life, for parents to keep shaping the lives of the children, for children to keep shaping the parents, for husbands to keep shaping the wife, for the wife to keep shaping the husband. Oh, Father, we thank you. It is also within that we good help the Lord will satisfy us and we will see our salvation. This is Jehovah saying to us this morning, people of God, that he will continually to keep our homes. He will keep our beloved spouses. He will keep us in good health. Apostle Paul wrote to Philippians and to the Philippians and prayed for them that it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more. Oh, people of the most high God, this is Jehovah saying to us this morning that he is renewing the love in our homes. He is renewing the love between husband and wives. He is renewing the love between the children and the parents. The Lord of us is here, is present this morning. Open your heart to receive his love. Open your heart to receive this love, the love of God, not as the word gives, but as Jehovah gives. The Lord is sending the rain of his love into our homes this morning in the name of Jesus. Jehovah says this morning that there is joy unspeakable. There is joy. There is peace. The one that surpasses all understanding. And he says above all that he will make our lives to be worthy of emulation. He will make our marriages to be worthy of emulation. He will make our homes to be worthy of emulation. It will make our children to be worthy of emulation in the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, we declare this morning that it is well with us, that it shall not be said of us. Look at them. They keep praying, but see what has become of them. This is not the voice that will speak to us in the name of Jesus, but we receive the voice of well done, faithful and good servants. We receive the voice of well done, my children, it is well with you. Father, we give you all the praise this morning and we say, Alloy be thy name for all that you are doing in our midst. Thank you for all you are doing in all nations. Thank you for all you are doing in all homes. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah, for your faithfulness, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jehovah, because we know that you jealously watch over your works, O oh Lord, to perform, perform them in our homes, O oh Lord, in the lives of our children, O oh Lord, in the lives of our spouses, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Glory be to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, bless the name of the Lord, hallelujah. I declare over every child, over every youth all over the world today, according to the word of God, found in Isaiah chapter 54, verses 13 to 14. I declare that children are disciples taught of the Lord, and great shall be their well-being and their peace. I declare that every one of them are firmly established in the righteousness of God. I, I decree and declare this morning that oppression shall be far from our children and our youth. We declare that terror will not come near them. I speak forth this morning in the name of Jesus that every evil eye that looks towards these children will be blinded by the light of God upon them. Every evil eye, the hands that is stretched towards them is consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. I declare according to the word of God in the book of Genesis chapter 49, verse 22 that the children are a fruitful bower they are in the influence of their branches are uh, rich nations all over the world uh, i decree and declare that they will remain steady and strong in the arms of the almighty um, our children are blessed and kept by god um, they are blessed with the blessings from the heavens uh, and the blessings of the deeper uh, 
We pray this morning uh, that none of our expectations uh, concerning all the children and youth will be cut short. Um, we declare that according to the word of God, they are for signs and wonders. Uh, we decree and declare that our children are met, marked for relevance. Uh, the youth are marked for excellence uh, in whatsoever their hands find to do. Uh, we pray over our children and over all the youth uh, all over the world this morning. Uh, that from today um, nothing concerning them becomes mediocre. The king of glory will fill them uh, with uncommon favor uh, and unsearchable wisdom to this end uh, between what is right and what is wrong. Uh, we decree and declare um, that every choice that the, our children are uh, and our youth maker, um, they are inspired by God's vision uh, for their lives and destinies. Uh, we pray, uh, especially concerning our youth, uh, now, when it is time for them to choose, uh, when it is time for them to choose spouses, uh, the Lord will help them uh, to choose the bone of their bones uh, and the flesh of their flesh. Uh, we decree and declare this morning uh, that every decision that they make uh, begins to play out according to God's plans and destinies for their lives. Uh, we pray uh, that parents will no longer mourn over their children. Uh, parents will no longer traumatize or agonize concerning their children. Uh, parents will not bury their young. Younger. I decree and declare this morning in the name of Jesus, uh, the name that is above every name, uh, that no matter how long uh, we live on the surface of the earth, uh, we will never be stripped of our joy concerning every child and every youth uh, hey, all over the world in the name of Jesus. Uh, as parents, um, we will reap the brown bountiful fruits of our labors over them. Uh, no one else will represent us on the days that our children are being celebrated and decorated. I declare that God will show them his goodness in the land of the living. They are lost in this life. Mark is magnified. They are mighty in the land and their mouth will feast uh, on the fat of it. Uh, they have grain in excess. Uh, they have milk in abundance. Uh, their storehouses are full of God's bounty. Uh, they have no lack. Uh, their vat overflows. Uh, they are favored beyond limitation. Uh, grace and mercy is their portion. Uh, the boundary lines uh, all around them remains unbroken. Uh, I decree and declare according to the word of God uh, that they are kept and protected. Uh, angels of the most high God intercede for them and do their bidding. Uh, I decree and declare that the ears of God um, is turned in their direction uh, and as they pray, uh, they receive express answers to their prayers. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we declare that there they will be positive impact upon their generation um, and they will add value uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare over our children and over every youth represented here that they begin to go forward. Uh, they are lifted up. Uh, they are seated yeah heavenly places uh, and their Amen. destinies are secured in Christ Jesus uh, in Amen. Jesus name we prayed. Amen Amen Lord Jesus we thank you that you have said he who does my will unto the end I will give authority over the nations you will rule them with a rod of iron you will break them in pieces like a bottle's vessel just as I have received from my father we are doing your will, God. We are here for righteousness. We are here for holiness. We are here to do your plan. You have said, come on, those who believe will tread on serpents and scorpions. Today, we tread on all the forces of evil over the nations. We tread on LGBT. We tread on all transsexualism. We tread on sexual immorality in the name of Jesus, and we crush you under our feet in the name of Jesus. We tread on the promotion of abortion over the nations, and we say life will be preserved in the world. Abortion will no longer flourish all over the world in the name of Jesus. We tread on false religion. We tread on Islam. We tread on Hinduism, we tread on Buddhism, we tread on all false religion in the name of Jesus, and we say, our God reigns. Jesus reigns over the nations. 
and nothing will stop Jesus reigning over the nations. We trade on communism. We trade on all forms of socialism. We trade on all evil political careers. And we say those who raise themselves above God will be brought down. Putin will be brought down in the name of Jesus. Xi Jinping of China will be brought down in the name of Jesus. King Jong-un of North Korea will be brought down in the name of Jesus. Maduro of Venezuela will be brought down in the name of Jesus. All who raise themselves above God and seek to ban Christianity in their nations will be brought down in the name of Jesus. Our God reigns. We take authority over Freemasonry. We can take authority over Bilderbergers. We take authority of all those who seek to bring in evil over nations. We say, your day is finished. Your day is over. Our God reigns. We take authority over all Satanism. Everything that everybody who seeks to worship Satan or bring evil into nations, evil into culture, evil into countries. We say, enough. We tread on you in the name of Jesus. Your day is over. Our God reigns. Every knee will bow before the name of Jesus. And we declare light, light, light over the nations. Holiness will come. Holiness will reign. Our God reigns. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Over to you, sir. <clears throat> Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. <clears throat> amen and amen. Arise and shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. I declare this over the church globally. I declare this over every believer, everywhere in every nation. That behold, darkness covers the earth and deep darkness to people but the lord will rise over you and his glory shall be seen upon you we are seated in heavenly places in christ jesus and we declare for over every believer over the united kingdom and ireland and all the 189 islands over the nations of the earth we declare Jesus Christ as Lord. We stand today on the apostolic and prophetic authority of this platform. On behalf of all counties, communities, regions, villages, towns and cities across these lands and family of nations. We repent and ask, O oh God, for forgiveness for all the atrocities and sins of our leaders and even of ourselves. And we ask through the redemptive work of the cross and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask for and we receive remission of our sins and healing of the nations. Today, we stand in unity and declare May your kingdom come and your will be done over this land, over this family of nations, and over the nations. Lord, we declare, may your salvation, may your light, may your healing spread throughout the land and throughout these nations. May your gospel be proclaimed unhindered to every person on the earth, <clears throat> to every person in this house, in person, in print, and through the media. May your word grow, and may your word prevail in the hearts of billions of men and women in all sectors of society. We declare that our young people 
and children will know the Lord, will know the Lord, will know the Lord, and they will establish the kingdom in this generation and the next generation. And they shall do this in all schools, universities, learning institutions, everywhere. We pray that all prodigals come back home to the house of God. We pray that the United Kingdom, the an Ireland, and these Isles, and all nations, including Israel, we they shall relate according to your will and your purpose. We cast down and we bind all the work of Satan. And I thank God for my brother Sid and all that he has mentioned. I stand in agreement with him that every enemy of the cross be bound at the spirit of the Antichrist against the church be stemmed. We lift up our Lord Jesus Christ as King of Kings and Lord of Lords over the nations. Church, arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you because you are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world and we take possession of the nations in Jesus' mighty name. Happy birthday, Dr. Kemi. God bless Hallelujah. Amen. Can we just all unmute and just begin to pray in the spirit for just 30 seconds. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Jehovah. What Amen. a wonder. Amen. What a joy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful time to be alive. Our Father, we just worship you for the day. We thank you because we are advancing the influence of the kingdom of the living God. Hallelujah. And we are establishing we have established the lordship of the lord jesus christ over the souls of men everywhere we have established the sovereignty the supremacy the lordship of the lord jesus christ over all systems of all structures over all institutions of all nations in the name of jesus Jehovah, the living God, has taken over. Indeed, our God reigns. Let the whole earth rejoice. For Jesus, our Christ, reigns. Hallelujah. The nations of the earth belong to Jesus. The kingdoms of the earth belong to Jesus. The continents belong to Jesus. The souls of men everywhere belong to Jesus. Light has come and the darkness has been taken away. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to say thank you to everyone who made time out this wonderful Saturday morning to be here so that we can take delivery of the nations together. Thank you very much, Apostle Jose. I, I, I celebrate God in you, Apostle Bimbala Okuiga, Apostle Zoe Wood, Apostle Rose Oyedele, 
Apostle Buki Coddle, I want to say that um, we do represent uh, the continents of the world here. Apostle Lijose from Africa, Lijose Agatise, Europe, Africa, hallelujah. Apostle Bivola Okuyiga, Europe, UK, Apostle Zoe Wood, Asia, Europe, uh, Asia, Europe, Africa, hallelujah. Apostle Rose Oyedele, Africa, Apostle Buki Coddle, Europe, Africa, Apostle Philomena Ikonagwa, Europe, Africa, Apostle Joyce Ling, uh, uh, North America, South America, Europe, Africa, hallelujah. Apostle Feyi, um, Europe, Africa, Olamide Jayesimi, Europe, Africa, Apostle Seed Coddle, Europe, Africa. And I want to say a special thank you to Dr. Much for making time out to be with us to this morning at very short notice. I appreciate the living God in each and every one of us. And I just want to say to you, according to the word of God, go, just go, because the Lord has given us the land. Go. The Lord has given us the land. The land belongs to us. Just go in and possess it. Go in and take it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. May the Lord Amen. bless you. Happy, happy birthday. Happy Dr. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Thank you.